I love layer styles in Photoshop Elements. It is one of the features of Photoshop Elements that I do utilize quite a bit. So let's review how we install layer styles in Photoshop Elements. And here's my tutorial that you can download. I'm not going to review this uh, first section again. Uh, you may need to make some of those folders visible. This is also in the Actions tutorial and you can go and watch that video if you need to uh, a little more help on that. Uh, layer styles have an extension of .asl, so if you've downloaded some things and you don't know what they are, you can look for that. Uh, layer styles do need to go into the Adobe folders to work. However, remember that the more things you have into those folders, the longer it takes Photoshop Elements to open and it could really uh, bog the program down so be careful only install maybe those that you really want to use or will be using a lot because um, you can get a lot of free ones out there on the internet and you can get a lot of them for purchase too and so just take heed and be careful uh, the tutorial does go through XP and Photoshop Elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, but I'm going to go down to the Vista instructions for Photoshop Elements 7. And here is the path where the layer style files go. If you want to just highlight that in the tutorial, right click and copy, you can go right to my computer. Let's make this a little smaller so you can see it. Up here in the bar, right click, copy and paste that path. Click the little arrow and there you are right there at that um, folder. You can also manually follow that path to find this folder, but I like doing it this way. It's much quicker. Uh, you'll see that um, the bevels file and the drop shadow files are already in this folder uh, that have come with Photoshop Elements. Just simply drop your layer styles into this folder and restart Photoshop Elements and your layer styles will be there. Here are some that I installed and now I want to point out to you here um, I've clicked on this fourth icon called All, and they are alphabetical in this area along with the actions down here at the bottom that are installed. This fourth icon is for both styles and actions, and they're all grouped together, and you'll notice there's no drop down menu. This first uh, I'm sorry, second icon is for layer styles and if you click on that there's a drop down menu and you can click on show all and they will all appear here in alphabetical order and if you do not um, categorize your layer styles this is how you're going to have to see them they're going to be lumped all together here in this area and I have actually got some metal ones that I have added a category to. Um, these are the ones I've actually installed. And so I want to share with you how that you can make those categories. In this same folder as where you drop that layer style, you'll see some XML files. And uh, these files are the ones that need to be edited to create those categories. And so what I would recommend doing is to just take one of them. Let's just do this um, ne wow neon down here at the bottom. Any one of them that's already in here will work. And right click and choose copy and then we're going to go on out to our desktop, right click and paste it. Now um, we want to have this open up with WordPad and you can choose to set that as your default which mine already is so I can just double click and open this up in WordPad 
and you'll see a whole bunch of coding in here. Everything that starts with this item ID 1 can be deleted. So just simply highlight all those, hit delete on your keyboard, and it's going to shorten up this code. Now it's as easy as deciding what you want that drop down name to be. And since this is, uh, I don't know, this is neon, but let's say we wanted to change it to a group of uh, metal styles. And I'm just going to change it and put the word metal in both of those and um, click Save and close out. And now I'm going to change this to be the same name as the matching layer style. Let's say, let's see, let me find these. Got to scroll up. Here's one called Aqua Metal that I had. And so I'm going to click once on that uh, ASL file and click down again and hit Control C to copy that into my clipboard. Then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Click down once and click again so that I can edit this name. And I want to leave the dot M E T A D A T A at the end of the name. Then you're simply going to copy or right click and cut and paste that back in here. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have that one. It's as simple as that. However, when you're dealing with the um, XML files, you will need to go back and there's a link for this in the tutorial and find the media database and delete that and then restart Photoshop Elements. It will take a while for the uh, program to re regenerate this file. It is okay to delete it. Uh, it takes maybe 15 to 20 minutes depending on your RAM but once it's, del uh, once it's regenerated it, your styles will then show up in we, since we our sample we named it metal, there'll be a new one in here called metal. And if you would like uh, to have more than one .asl file show up in this in one particular category, you would simply create another. Let's find the window here. You would simply create another. Uh, XML file for the next ASL file. Each ASL file needs an XML file to go with it and it, to specify which category it goes in. Um, so I've got one more thing quickly to show you. There's a link in the tutorial to the presets folder and here is the presets folder for styles and you'll see I have dropped a new ASL file in this preset folder just to show you that under here in the custom shape tool there is an area up here for styles and if you follow the flyout arrow, now you'll find that group of styles here in the list and you can choose it and click on it and utilize that style when drawing shapes. So if you would like for them to be active in this toolbar as well as this over here, the layer styles have got to be put in both places. But you do not need to delete the, the media database to get it to work in your preset area. Uh, but do remember again, the more you put in there, the longer it's going to take that program to open up when uh, you started. And so I hope this helps you understand a little bit more. Uh, there's more details in the tutorial and ask questions in the forum if you get stuck.